today. I should be voting against the withdrawal agreement. And why is that? Because it's going to deliver Brexit in name only, that's why. In name only? What's your alternative, sir? Uh, manage no deal, immediately offer the EU uh, negotiations on a free trade agreement, which will give us 10 years tariff and quota free trade with the EU under WTO terms while we negotiate that free trade agreement. And what happens after this, especially for the Conservative Party, whatever happens today? Well, I'll tell you now, if we don't deliver Brexit, it uh, will have a cataclysmic result for us at the next general election. We were tasked by the British people to leave the European Union. If we don't deliver that, why would they ever want to believe anything we ever tell them again? So who, who benefits if not you? benefits it from me. I'm, I'm not here to benefit me. I'm here to benefit the British people. The Tory party, sir. So, so can I take a word from you? Say again? If, if, if the Tory party don't benefit from this whole process, who does? Is it Labour? Is it a new force? What is it? The Labour party will be switching to a uh, second referendum shortly. They're gonna, the whole reason for them uh, wishing to bring forward the uh, no confidence motion, possibly this week or early next week, in the government is to get that out of the way. They'll lose that uh, and then they'll move to a policy of second referendum, which is a complete betrayal of uh, the mandate we were given, their own manifesto where they said they were going to uh, respect the referendum results. You think that was a strong mandate, the original one in the, in the referendum of 2016? Would you call it a strong mandate? I would. Um, more people voted to leave the European Union than anything that's ever been voted for in the history of our country. Uh, my seat voted to leave 6139. I was the lead MP for leaving the East Midlands. East Midlands voted to leave by 59% to 41. Uh, it wasn't close in the East Midlands or the West Midlands. Um, we've got to leave the European Union. And what kind of country do they want to see in 25 years' time, 30 years' time? Where do they want to be, the, the, the guys who voted for, for Brexit in 2016? Well, I'll tell you what I, my vision is. Um, at the next general election, whenever that is, we're going to have to, as Conservatives, defend the principle of free market capitalism something we thought we'd settled because of Jeremy Corbyn's Marxist Labour Party's policies. Now, if we can't partake as a nation in free trade agreements around the world, which the withdrawal agreement will prevent us from doing so for many, many years, possibly indefinitely, how can we defend free market capitalism? I want to have free trade agreements with America, Australia, New Zealand, countries in the Commonwealth, countries in Asia. We need more support for the Conservatives from young voters and from black and ethnic minority voters. If we can offer our young people the ability to go and work in America, work in Australia, work in New Zealand, work in India... Um, what about um, Europe? Well, that's on our doorstep. We'll still be able to have that anyway, but when you can go and work in America and bring back some of that ideas of how they're delivering 4% economic growth. Can people growth. not do that now? Um, not, 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 not as easy as they'll be able to when we've got comprehensive free trade agreements and reciprocal rights for uh, work visas. I think that would be far, far easier. There's no language language barrier whatsoever. Um, so more free and, 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 and also, the And also, the free trade agreements we'll be able to do with developing countries will lift more people around the world out of poverty sustainably than our aid budget ever will. And these are huge selling points at the next general election. We can only do that if we get a clean global Brexit where we can take the main benefit of Brexit, which is forging those free trade agreements with the fastest growing economies of the world, which even the EU has conceded over the next 20 years, 90% of world's economic growth is going to come from outside the European Union. OK, and if voters do reject the Tory party in the next election, because this doesn't go very well for you, but they also reject the Labour party and they're not on board with the Lib Dems, who the hell benefits? Is it time I, for I, I've made it very clear, if this parliament does not deliver Brexit, not Brexit in name only, real Brexit that was voted for, we will see the rise of extreme parties on the right and the left, and characters who will make Nigel Farage look like a Sunday school teacher. I don't want to go there. Parliament's got to get real, it's got to deliver uh, for the democratic mandate, leave the European Union, or it's the people versus Parliament, and that's not going to end well for Parliament and, or the Congress. And in that instance, would you consider joining a new party, a new force? I'm a Conservative and I'd rather change the Conservative from the party from the inside. The Conservatives try to change the EU from the inside out. I think, I think you know, you, what you'd have to do is ask yourself whether you want to stand for Parliament anymore if we don't deliver. Thank, Thank you very much. You.